Hello everyone! In this video, I will be running you through a quick demo of how to use the KDM web app. If you don't have an account with us, just go to our website and press get started. Here, you'll just fill in all of the information boxes. We ask for your Discord because that's where we deliver automatic notifications once your generation is done. If you already have an account with us, just sign in. Here on the homepage, you can see your recently created assets, look over our documentation, join our Discord, and watch a demo video on how to use our app. To get started with your 3D model generations, head over to the Create page and upload anywhere from one up to six images of the object you want to model. Keep in mind our input guidelines, which are detailed in our documentation. If your model has a lot of fine detail, please check the high detail box, which automatically increases the upper limit poly count. If you require a different poly count, you can always change the upper limit poly count by typing into the text box. We recently implemented parametric scaling functionality. So if you want your model to be a specific size, please fill in the height in centimeters. Finally, if the background of your image is complex, you can use our remove background functionality by clicking on the relevant button. Great, now let's generate our 3D model. This pop-up appears once our model starts processing. If you want to get a few generations going at the same time, go ahead and input another image. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. Once your model is created, it will appear on your homepage under recently created assets, as well as in your asset library. Here, you are able to scroll through all of your created models. To check and view your model in our 3D viewer, just click on it. You will be able to check the model as well as the input image, the poly count that it was made with, and any related generations. You can also rate your 3D model to let us know if you liked it. Now, you can also go to the full screen mode to access more tools. You can again open up uh, your input image alongside the 3D model. You can ask for an iteration by describing the changes you would like to have done on your model and even draw on the input image to highlight the edits. You can view the wireframe of the model to check the topology as well. Additionally, you can color your model by selecting the different areas and choosing a color with our coloring tool. Finally, when you're ready, you can download your 3D asset in your preferred format, OBJ, FBX, GLB or GLTF. And if you have colored it, don't forget to include MTL. This is all you need to know to get started modeling with KDIM. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.